Imagine hurtling through the vast emptiness of space. A rogue wanderer from another star system, untouched by the pull of our sun for billions of years. Now, picture that traveler slamming into our cosmic neighborhood at speeds that make a bullet train look like a leisurely stroll, over 30 kilometers per second. That's the reality of an interstellar comet, a fleeting messenger from the galaxy's outer reaches. And right now, as of October 2025, one such visitor is stealing the spotlight. 3I-ATLAS, the third confirmed interstellar object to grace our solar system. Discovered just months ago, it's not just passing through, it's challenging everything we thought we knew about these elusive cosmic drifters. Welcome to this deep dive into 3I-ATLAS, where we'll unpack its dramatic arrival, the mind-bending science behind its quirks, and why it might just rewrite the story of how planets and stars fling their leftovers into the void. If you're a space junkie, a curious student, or just someone who stares at the night sky wondering what's out there, buckle up. This is going to be an interstellar thrill ride. Let's rewind to that electric moment of discovery because every great space story starts with a spark of surprise. It was July 1st, 2025, a crisp winter night in Chile's Atacama Desert, where the ATLAS, Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, telescope does its tireless vigil. Designed to spot potential Earth smashers, ATLAS instead caught something far stranger, a faint, fuzzy dot streaking across the sky at an impossible clip. Follow-up observations from telescopes around the globe confirmed the wild truth within days. This wasn't some homegrown asteroid or comet orbiting our sun like a loyal dog. No, its path was hyperbolic, a parabolic slingshot curve that screamed outsider. It had come from the deep interstellar medium, the chilly gulf between stars, and it was barreling straight through our solar system without plans to stick around. This made 3 i atlas the third interstellar interloper on our books, hot on the heels of the enigmatic Oumuamua in 2017 and the more comet-like Borisov in 2019. But unlike its predecessors, which zipped in and out like ghostly cameos, 3 i atlas arrived with fanfare. Early radar and optical data pegged its nucleus, the icy, rocky core, at about 5.6 kilometers across, roughly the size of Manhattan. That's no pebble. It's a behemoth compared to Borisov's puny 1-kilometer frame, or Umuamua's cigar-shaped 200 meters. Picture it, a dirty snowball the length of a small city, carved from the debris disk of some distant star system eons ago, now thawed just enough by our sun's warmth to start hissing like a cosmic tea kettle. What really hooked scientists, though, wasn't just the scale. It was the way this giant moved. Comets are nature's show-offs, powered by outgassing. As sunlight hits their frosty surfaces, trapped ices like water, carbon dioxide, and methane sublimate straight into gas, erupting in jets that act like tiny rocket engines. These outbursts create a push, a non-gravitational nudge that tweaks the comet's orbit in ways we can measure precisely. It's like watching a sailboat tack against the wind, but in space. For Aumuamua, that acceleration was a puzzle, too strong for its size, sparking wild theories from hydrogen ice to even alien tech, though NASA quickly debunked the sci-fi angle. Borisov played it straight, accelerating like a textbook solar system comet. But 3i slash ATLAS? It barely budged. Astronomers from 227 observatories worldwide pooled data from May through September 2025, tracking its every wobble. Despite clear signs of activity, a glowing coma of dust and gas enveloping the nucleus like a hazy halo, the deviation from pure gravitational pull was minuscule, less than 15 meters per day squared. That's like a freight train derailed by a feather. To explain this, researchers crunched the numbers, balancing the thrust from those venting gases against the observed motion. The verdict? This comet's nucleus packs at least 33 billion tons of mass. Let that sink in. Borisov tipped the scales at a mere fraction of that, and Oumuamua was lighter still. For context, that's heavier than some of the largest known asteroids in our own backyard, like the dwarf planet Ceres, but forged in another star's nursery. 
This heft isn't just trivia, it's a game changer. It forces us to rethink the building blocks of distant worlds. Interstellar objects like 3i slash ATLAS are fossilized scraps from alien planet formation, remnants ejected during the chaotic youth of other solar systems. When giant planets like our Jupiter bulldoze smaller bodies into exile, models predicted these exiles would mostly be tiny shards, dust bunny fragments outnumbered a million to one by the big boys. Spotting three kilometer scale giants in a row? That's like drawing three royal flushes in poker on your first three hands. Statistically improbable, unless our assumptions are off. Is the galaxy littered with more massive wanderers than we imagined, or are we just lucky or biased in our detections? Speaking of anomalies, let's lean into why astronomers are buzzing with that term. It's not a slur, it's shorthand for doesn't fit the box. 3i slash ATLAS checks the comet box in many ways, the coma, the tail, the spectral fingerprints of familiar ices. But zoom in on the chemistry, and the plot thickens. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope, that infrared powerhouse orbiting a million miles from Earth, revealed a startling imbalance. Carbon dioxide levels sky high compared to water ice, making it one of the most CO2 rich comets ever probed. Webb's gaze pierced the coma in August 2025, spotting those molecules venting even at distances where our sun's heat should be feeble, over five astronomical units from the sun, about as far as Jupiter. Then there's the dust. Ultraviolet observations from Hubble and ground-based scopes caught water vapor pouring out, but the light polarization, how sunlight bounces off those ejected grains, told a weirder tale. The patterns suggest dust particles with odd shapes or compositions, unlike the fluffy aggregates in our solar system's comets. It's as if this comet was baked in a different oven, perhaps around a cooler star where carbon chains form differently. And get this, early spectral hints from the very large telescope in Chile flagged elevated nickel signals without the usual iron tag along. Nickel and iron are cosmic twins, forged together in stellar furnaces so their split could point to unique formation conditions, or maybe just a tricky measurement will refine soon. Either way, it's fuel for debate. This is where the human element shines through, the astronomers who turn data into drama. Take Avi Loeb from Harvard, the same guy who speculated about Oumuamua's artificial origins. He's at it again, musing that if the mass and makeup hold up, natural origins might strain under the weight. On the flip side, NASA's Tom Statler, a comet veteran, keeps it grounded. It looks and acts like a comet, but its quirks make us question if interstellar objects are the giants we never saw coming, or if the little ones are masters of hide and seek. These aren't abstract arguments. They're the heartbeat of science, where one oddball like 3i slash ATLAS nudges theories forward. And let's address a common myth right here, before it derails your stargazing. No, this isn't alien proof. Interstellar objects are rare but expected. Our galaxy's a busy highway of ejecta. What they teach us is about the universality of physics, not little green men phoning home. As 3i slash ATLAS hurdles closer to the sun, its perihelion, or closest approach, looming in late 2025, the real show is just heating up. This massive frame means it'll react differently to solar fire than its slimmer siblings. Expect intensified outgassing as it nears, potentially birthing a tail dozens of millions of kilometers long, visible to backyard scopes under dark skies. But here's a twist that had space weather experts on edge. In late September 2025, forecasts pegged a coronal mass ejection, a billion-ton plasma burp from the sun, on a collision course. If it hit, it could whip the comet's ion tail like a cosmic lash, much like the 2007 Enke Comet event where a CME sheared off the tail in a spectacular display. Temporary drama, sure, but invaluable data. No interstellar comet has faced this solar gauntlet before. Telescopes from Hawaii to the Canary Islands were primed, capturing any ripples in real time. October brings more intrigue. On the 3rd, the high-rise camera on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, that sharp-eyed imager that's mapped Martian dunes in postcard detail, snapped for high-res shots as 3i slash ATLAS swung by the red planet at a comfy 1.5 astronomical units out. Geometry wasn't kind though. Soon after, solar conjunctions swallowed it behind the sun's glare from Earth's view. 
But fear not. It re-emerges in December, coma blazing as activity crests. Amateur astronomers, this is your cue. Grab a telescope and join the global watch party. Apps like Stellarium can pinpoint it. Share your pics in the comments below. I'd love to see what you capture. Peering further ahead, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile is set to revolutionize this hunt. Kicking off its legacy survey of space and time in early 2026, Rubin's massive mirror and wide-field camera will scan the entire southern sky every few nights cataloging billions of objects. In its debut hours last year, it already unearthed thousands of new asteroids. Over a decade, it could net dozens of interstellar visitors. That's the sample size we crave to settle the anomaly debate. Are massive comets like 3i slash ATLAS the rule or the exception? If common, it upends planet formation models. Maybe giant planets in other systems are better at yeeting big icy boulders than we thought, seeding the galaxy with Oort cloud analogs on steroids. If rare, our early hits suggest detection biases. Bigger, brighter objects scream louder in our scopes, while stealthy small fries slip by. So, what do you think? Is 3i slash ATLAS a fluke, or the first of many giants? Drop your theories in the comments, hit that like button if this sparked your inner explorer, and subscribe for more dives into the stars. We've got black holes, Mars missions, and exoplanet hunts queued up. Share this with a friend who needs a cosmic escape, and until next time, keep looking up. The universe is calling.